A new vision of Genesis and the first clues of life's beginnings explored tonight in an all new episode of Cosmos Possible Worlds. The host who you know so well, Neil deGrasse Tyson, kind enough to join us this morning to talk a little bit more about it. Morning, sir. Good to visit with you. Yeah, good morning. Thanks for having <laughs> Sticking me. with the minutia as usual, I see, not just the vast origins of everything as we could possibly <laughs> ever know it as you just jump right in in a new season of Cosmos. Well, if you study the universe, you know, that kind of that's how that goes. <laughs> Absolutely. There, there are a million, a million ways we could take it. And, and I know you've got so many amazing topics to discover in your show. But, but one of the things and I, I always cheat when I'm in these satellite interviews and I get to hear you talking with other people. Uh, one thing that struck me hearing you just a second ago talking about some of the real challenges we face on Earth and the possibility of finding some of those answers in space in space. I think some people think of space and exploration of space like ah, it's kind of interesting. But no, there's a practical good reason to be doing that and to be talking about it. Yeah, space is a um, it's a frontier and uh, it depends on what is your mindset is your mindset is I don't care about frontiers. I only care about what I know and the knowledge that has been accumulated thus far. And that's what I'm going to deal with. But you're not realizing that most of the knowledge you have at any given moment was because there was a set of people exploring a frontier. A frontier that at that time looked a little remote, may have looked a little, well, why are you doing this? We have these other problems that we need to solve. Yeah. And so it's a, uh, and, and there's no greater frontier than the frontier of space itself, where we have asteroids, where certain ingredients on asteroids are common that are rare here on Earth. And we have other, th th there are, there are things that space has that we fight on Earth over to gain access to because it's in this plot of land instead of another plot of land. As just people who live on this planet, like you touched on, some resources here are finite, some things, some challenges here are real, and yet we've got this infinite resource a little bit past us that we might be able to explore for many different reasons. Yeah, and also consider that flanking us in space in one direction is the planet venus which has a runaway greenhouse effect it's 900 degrees fahrenheit and on the other side is mars which once had liquid flowing water on its surface and its surface is carved by the action of this moving water there's dried riverbeds and floodplains and 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 river deltas all dry bone dry something bad happened on venus something bad happened on mars and we can just put blinders on and say oh we just have earth problems we need to solve or you can look out and say wait a minute something similar happened there maybe i can learn something and it's that curiosity for the unknown that if you are absent that you have doomed the future of civilization absolutely uh, especially given what's going on now that we've already set into motion yeah so uh, with with cosmos every episode we could have begun oh we're all gonna die we're all gonna <laughs> die but no we didn't we 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 <laughs> that does stop you in your tracks Neil. i'm getting me for next season helpful. i don't know <laughs> 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 yeah, the, the, uh, they're all going to die season of yeah, Star Talk, yeah. I mean, of, 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 of Cosmos. But uh, each episode um, poses a problem and then offers a, th uh, a, a, a strand where if you follow that strand, there's a solution there. There's a, there's a future Earth. It's subtitled Possible Worlds. Mm -hmm. You can think of multiple pathways that we take Earth into the future, and each of those is a kind of a world, right? Is it the world you want to occupy? The world that we only survive in rather than thrive? Um, is there one where the environment is no longer supporting us because we didn't support it, and then we slowly go extinct? That's a world. But this extinction is not a rare thing in the fossil record, all right? Um, animals are going extinct all the time, and in modern times, a lot are going extinct at the hands of humans because we are altering the ecosystem in ways where the consequences are not entirely clear to us yeah. how it's going to come back and bite us in the rear. So a cosmos, uh, the part of the DNA of cosmos is to give you some hope and to empower you to say, no, I know and understand that we have this power of science. And these are the tools we will need to solve the problems we have brought upon ourselves. Very cool, very important, but also I'm sure very entertaining as well as we go through another season of Cosmos with Neil deGrasse Tyson, Tuesday night, seven o'clock. Sir, thank you very much for your time. We appreciate it as always.
Excellent. Thank you. Cool.